Don't mind me. I'm just counting down the seconds until we're back in school. Am I right? It's Sunday, March 22nd, and it's time for This Week at SFT. This week's guest, Housing's Coordinator for Academic Initiatives, Lindsay Fields. And here's your host, Greg Scamato. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 10 of This Week at SFT. It's the 10th episode. Uh, today we've got a great show, but let's get it kicked off with rapid fire, because we actually have stuff going on this week. Soccer vs. Clark, Sunday, March 22nd at 6.30 p.m. in the Pole Rec Center. Poker Night, Monday, March 23rd at 6 p.m. in the Willis Library Forum. Free Ice Cream Barbecue, Wednesday, March 25th at 4 p.m. in the Traditions Courtyard. Also Wednesday, Into the Woods at 8 p.m. at the Onset Promenade. Median Michael Yo, Friday, March 27th at 8 p.m. in the Auditorium Building. All right, this week I sat down with Housing's Coordinator for Academic Initiatives, Lindsay Fields, to talk about going through the March slump and what we can do as students, because we're all students and that's what we're here for, to finish this semester out strong and what we possibly could have done at first to make it better for us. Hey everyone, today I'm sitting with Lindsay Fields, Housing's Coordinator for Academic Initiatives. Uh, so Lindsay, who are you and what do you do? Well, um, I work here in housing with anything academic. So anything you're struggling with in school, academic programs, living learning communities, faculty and residents, and assessment, all the data. Cool, but ac academic, so why is, why is that important to me? Well, you're here at a university and the end goal hopefully is a degree. Okay, uh, I mean, but like, I tried hard at the beginning of the semester, and so I'm like, I'm good, right? Well, it depends on the class. I mean, sometimes you have those classes where you're like 90% done, and you have this one final project that you've got in the bag, right? But then there's those other classes that pace themselves, where you really need to stay on top of it as you finish strong. Okay. So then I'll just finish strong, and for now I'll just sit in there like, watch, just like, just like... <laughs> Hopefully so that's not. What I'm, that's what I'm doing now, but then I'll, you know, I'll pick it up when I get to the end, right? Is that Does that work? Not exactly. Those teachers notice when you sit like that. I mean, believe it or not, we, we notice the ones in the back or even in the middle who are just kind of like checking out. Okay. And not really with it. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm, it's still spring break. Like this, we're not meeting during spring break, but you're watching us during spring break. So... But so I'm on spring break and summer is so close and I feel it and this week was just a tease for me. And so like, how do I get refocused? The best way to get refocused is as soon as you get back, reset. I mean, you have, you have all the tools you need to finish your semester strong. You have your syllabus. Hopefully you have your planner. If not, dig it out yeah, of your, two, you know, bottom so. of your desk. Okay. <laughs> and, and double check everything you have left and say, okay, what can I do to pace myself? To do everything I need to do because you have all the tools. You have a textbook, you have your lectures, you have a class schedule. There's no reason that you're missing something. Now, if you're missing your grades, you talk to your teachers. If they're if you're unhappy with their answer, you talk to the chair because you need to have some idea of how you're doing in classes before spring break. Okay, and this I'm going off book because uh, you answered my last question. But uh, with you as an academic person, uh, what is most important? to you for us to get out of uh, class? Is it the grade or is it something else? Well, it depends on your desperate situation. Sometimes you just have to get the grade. I mean, in, in some majors like business, you can't pull a D in accounting. You have to earn your C to move on. So sometimes it's just making it to get onto the next class. But earn that C, everyone. There you go. C for credit, right? <laughs> but then there are times where that class will build on the next one. Or it's a class that you simply really need to grasp a concept of because it's a theory within your major or it's going to give you the tools necessary to do well in the next course or you have to do well because you have internship coming up so it just kind of depends okay cool well thank you for talking with me today i hope you guys got something out of it remember the semester starts back again tomorrow so let's get refocused now and finish out the semester strong thank you for being here with us today want to know more follow us on twitter instagram and join the sft 2014-2015 Facebook group. Thanks to my guest, Lindsay Fields, today. Thanks to you guys for watching once again. I will actually see you this week. Welcome back. Drive safe.